We're not expelling any children. We're asking a family to leave. I know that the Ministry of Education doesn't have any jurisdiction in here because they've told us so, which you could have told us months ago. But there are laws that do govern this, and I'm sure, I'm sure that this letter and what you are doing is not lawful. So, what happened to Mark Thornton, the manager of the Titirangi Rudolf Steiner School, after he got rid of this family, whose only crime was to ask the school to provide the safe, peaceful and natural learning haven that it advertises? Did he explain the reasons behind his actions? Looking at this footage, it's hard to believe that this is the exact date and time that the parents were due to be having a long-awaited and important meeting with the school about the bullying. All school entities were due to attend this meeting, management, the College of Teachers and trustees. And at the family's request, another parent had also been invited to offer insight into socially inclusive ways of dealing with bullying. When Mr Thornton was asked, through the Privacy Act, what school policy it was that had allowed the family to be kicked out at that time instead, with no warning, no reason given and no right of appeal, his answer was, we do not believe that this request relates to material of a personal nature and therefore is not covered by the Act. So why did he throw the family out? The only thing he would say was that the family had a fundamental disagreement with the behaviour policy. The only thing they had complained about was bullying. How convenient that the law doesn't require him to justify such damaging behaviour towards children. Since then, the coordinator of the Steiner Federation of New Zealand was thanked for her services. And guess who took her place? That's right, Mark Thornton. But that's not all. His role within the National Federation has evolved at great speed and he's now responsible for administration, structural matters, legal matters, financial matters, employment issues and emergency issues, which essentially means anything not covered by other positions. He personally holds 21% of all positions of the National Executive. Between him and colleague Cathy McFarlane, who happens to work at the same school, the Titirangi Rudolf Steiner School, being one of 19 Steiner schools in the country, holds 45% of all positions in the Federation, being also the executive headquarters. All the Steiner schools in the country have been informed of the events at the Titirangi Rudolf Steiner School and of the fact that the manager is now in charge of most Federation business and certainly all communications go through him. But it turns out that none of the other Steiner schools have any problem with that. And as one head put it, with regard to the Federation, our school has full confidence in the executive group. They consist of members across New Zealand and represent the views of the movement. These facts, and a disturbingly high incidence of similar stories from across the world, have led us to ask the question, is Steiner education putting children at risk? <laughs>